Hey everybody, today got a cool video for you. With the cooler weather, we're talking about fall foliage plants. So, in today's video, we're gonna go over some amazingly foliagey. <laughs> hey everybody, we got an exciting video for you today. So we're gonna show you some really neat plants and Hey everybody, welcome to Outdoor Inspirations. I just gave like the devil horn. Hey everybody, welcome to Outdoor Inspirations. Today we got a cool video for you for a cool time of year, fall. So today we're gonna go over some nice plants you can select to add that pop of wow in fall foliage. So roll that intro. All right, we got this one on the list. It's service berry. It's a native tree in North Carolina, but it's a multi-stem, full sun to part sun tree. It's about 25, 30 feet tall. And uh, one of the cool features of this, it does have a flower in the spring, but then the it does a berry. So this berry that it produces is actually edible. So people actually make jams out of this uh, berry fruit and birds absolutely love that berry as well. So notably into the fall foliage color We're gonna go reds and it's gonna have a gold color as well So very striking fall foliage to add in the backdrop of your landscape designs, right? So having a nice big tree that gets that 25 foot range You can come in the foreground with all kinds of things and if you have um, the room and space you can also go with conifers behind it tall to really give you that very good contrast come fall time now we'll lose its leaves it is deciduous so just keep aware of that uh, insect disease it is very tolerant to uh, any pests or diseases and that's why I made our list all right, next amazing fall foliage plant is burning bush. This one happens to be a uh, compacta variety. It's about four to six feet tall. It's deciduous, uh, has a very interesting leaf structure on it. Uh, very ornate and uh, adaptable plant for your landscape designs, especially as a uh, property line border, or even if you have the space, uh, you can put it around the home. Um, if you're backdropping it with some evergreens uh, back behind it and in front because it is going to lose its leaves. So you got to plan for that one. Um, very tolerant to insect disease issues. Um, has just a simply amazing fall foliage color. So this gets a, a very deep scarlet red. Just the whole thing just turns like you lit it on fire. It's just amazing, the foliage. And, um, you know, like sun to part sun, mostly sun though. This, put these in the very sunny area in the yard. And um, you're gonna love it. It's a great plant to add to your landscape. All right, here's another great one to add to your landscape. This is Father Gilla. Mount Airy is the variety. A really decorative, uh, ornate shrub. Has really nice veining in the leaf structure big brawly leaves. Gets, this plant grows to about three to five feet uh, wide and tall. Has a, a honey scented flower that attracts birds and butterflies, which is really neat. The foliage color on this is truly amazing. So you got yellow, orange into the reds. So you can really add some brightness to a pocket in your garden if you wanna put uh, this plant in that area. Uh, very good on insect disease tolerance um, and the watering requirements is, is good too. It, it likes average watering, just well drained uh, situations. So this is why Father Gilla made our list. All right, next on list we have red maple. This one's October Glory variety. And this was a large growing shade tree. It gets 40 to 50 feet tall about 30 to 40 feet wide so give it plenty of room in your landscape to grow but can make for a great shade tree 
Um, and it is uh, average moisture. It likes to be a little bit more moist than dry. It does get gloomy scale. It can get gloomy scale, so be aware of that. So keep your eye on the bark at all times and look for that speckling of that insect sucking uh, away. It's called gloomy scale which is a widespread issue, unfortunately, with all red maples. So some varieties are less susceptible than others. October Glory is one of those. So we added that to the list. Another good variety is called Blaze Red Maple. So check in to those. Yeah, the foliage color. So you see these on your mountain trips, on the sides of the road in the fall just gives an amazing bright reds, oranges, and yellow fall foliage. Um, just truly amazing. And then it is deciduous tree, so it's gonna drop all its leaves. Um, likes the sun, will take a little part sun, but it more prefers to be in full sun. And it's just a really nice tree. Um, some other things to watch out for, it is a top rooter, so it will shoot out some roots along the top surface. So just be aware of that. So, you know, you can combat that with just elongating out your plant bed because if you try to grow grass through those roots, you'll end up doing mechanical damage to the top of those roots. Um, a lot of things some get people get into trouble is they try to put soil over those top roots to continue the lawn again. And that's a short-term game because eventually those roots are going to climb up again because they want that air. They want that air, and that's why they're on top of the ground. So try to have a bed space for this so you don't have to combat growing a lawn so close to this tree. But just a great tree, great fall, fall foliage color, and we love this one. Alrighty, everybody, this one's Nandina. This one's called Flirt. Nandina has so many different varieties in uh, its species, but this one is compact, it's low, it's a two foot grower, both tall and wide. It's evergreen, and it has this beautiful, beautiful um, plummy to red color, burgundy ish, I guess you would say, which is all year round for this flirt variety. Now come fall time, this will all start to go to reds. So it's a great, very vibrant uh, pizzazz to add in your garden, especially in the fall for that wonderful fall foliage. Um, very good resistance to insect disease. Likes um, average and can take a little bit of drought on this plant. So um, just a very bulletproof type plant to add to your garden. Um, these are great to accentuate with um, other evergreens that will um, give you a little contrast from this foliage type. So it's very universal in both your landscape designs and in your particular gardening area where you may have sun to part sun um, and you may have uh, drought areas in the garden that you can't get a lot of water to. This one just kind of checks all those boxes off. So very universal and uh, we love this plant. All right, my plant peeps, thank you so much for watching today. We appreciated having you. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you and your family and friends join us for more entertaining plant videos. So we love our plants. Remember, uh, all things grow with love. And we'll see you in the next video.